hello everyone and i would like to welcome you all for this new video in this video i'll be explaining you some settings which is particularly needed to be known by the people who are using nx cam now there are two types of users of nx cam one are uh, one which are very new to nx cam they are very particular about you know how the things need to be done in nx cam and there are people who are very professional in nx cam okay so i would typically say this settings will help people who are already knowing nx cam and already using nx cam for you know a couple of months or few months down the line now let me give you a background about the settings now let's say i want to create a simple cavity milling program here so normally to create a simple program what we need to do we need to go to file we need to go to manufacturing and here we need to select cam general in cam session configuration and in cam setup to create technically you can select anything but i would prefer because i want to create a cavity milling program i would prefer to select milk contour now once i select milk contour over here i need to click ok to come into the cam environment now once i'm in the cam environment i can see over here uh, we have the operation navigator this particular particular area is known as operation navigator this has four pages so we need to continue in geometry view pages okay again this video is particularly dedicated to the people who are already having some basic knowledge of nx cam if you have seen my previous video about nx cam a simple cavity mill program even after watching that you will be capable enough to do this kind of setting okay now here in mcs i don't really want to relocate the mcs for now let us set us set up the workpiece now to set up the workpiece i need to double click on it i need to specify the part uh, the output what i need then it, i need to specify the blank and for that again i need to click on this button specify blank here i can choose bounding block i don't want to display it so i'll just turn off this option display blank and i'll click ok now i have my uh, workpiece set up uh, apart from that what i also need is a tool so i'll just go for tool i'll choose let's say a simple mill tool let's say i want to use an end mill of diameter 20 for this operation so here i'm creating an end mill of diameter 20 with 0 mm as a lower radius and i can define the number of flute relief diameter flute length and other parameters if you want you can also define tool numbers and other information as well now i'll click ok and now i'll right click on workpiece i'll choose insert an operation and here because i selected milk contour earlier i am automatically getting an option of say you know going into milk contour and the particular operation i need is cavity milling operation now let's say i want to choose my tool over here uh, method can be anything let's say i want to go for roughing so i'll choose mill rough i can define the name and i can click ok now normally whenever we start this cavity milling program this is the default parameters okay and the setting is dedicated to changing of this default parameters now you can see the default cut pattern is set to fall apart the default step over value is set to 70 percent the default depth of cut value is set to 1 mm now because i am coming from a cam background where uh, you know we don't typically use this setting which are present by default we need to do some settings uh, every time you know let's say for example i don't really prefer follow part every time most of the time i prefer follow periphery so i'm going to select this over here in most of the cases i'm at 50 percent uh, in terms of step over in most of the cases i'm at 0.2 mm in step down in cutting parameters i prefer to use a climb cut I can go for a depth first or a level first cut. I want my pattern direction to be set to automatic all the time. Coolant for open areas and for close area, I want to keep it on. So there are a lot of settings which we can define here. Okay, in geometry, I can define some settings related to stop. Okay, and various other things which we want to define particularly uh, like related to non-cutting moves and other things. I can define all those settings. I can click OK and then I can generate my tool part. Now the problem here is lot of settings are repetitive every time you start a new file we have to do those settings again and again okay and that eats up a lot of time and also introduce you know a high chance of error see because what happens like if for, if for example if this particular software is given to a person who is very new and in scam and if suppose that person forget to define the depth of cut now the default depth of cut is set to 1 mm so what will happen uh, the, if the person forgot to define the depth of cut and the program was run on the machine, there can be a severe tool wear or even it can damage the uh, you know overall job and the overall integrity of the job based on the mounting they have done for the job. 
So obviously we don't want that one mm depth of cut to be by default. Similarly, we don't want uh, you know some settings which are related to the safety aspects of the program. We don't want those settings to be there by default. So that is the reason we want to say and change the default settings so that every time whenever we come to NX Cam, we don't have to deal with those settings again and again and again. And whoever is using NX Cam, whether it is a very professional user or a very new user, they will by default get the settings and chances of error will reduce. Now let's see how to do those settings by default. For that, obviously I need to close this file. I'm not saving this, I'm just closing this file because I don't want this file to get affected. Now what I need to do is I need to go to this location. This PC, that is your my computer. In C drive, wherever you have installed the software, C drive program file Siemens. This is a version which I'm using for now. You might have a different version here. Okay, Siemens NX. Then once you go in the NX folder, you will have this folder called Mac, M-A-C-H. You need to go inside Mac folder. You need to go inside the template folder, sorry, resource folder. Inside the resource folder, you will have template uh, part. So you can see template part, underscore part. This folder you need to open. Then you will have a metric folder here. You need to open this folder. And here you have to search for mill contour. So let's say I'll just press M and here we have mill contour. Now, obviously this is a C drive file. So the software will not allow you to modify this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this temporarily, okay, somewhere in the system. Okay, so let's say I'll create a new folder somewhere. So for this example, uh, let's say I want to go to the uh, documents here and save it here. So I'll just paste it here. So my file is present over here. So this is a uh, mill contour file. Now what I need to do first, I need to right click on this file. I need to go to properties and deactivate this option so if this option is active read only you have to deactivate this option because this is very important to do and for this you also need to have administrative permissions otherwise you will not be able to go and typically look into this kind of areas now i'll click on apply okay so we need to open that file in nx so to open that file i need to browse the file from here so let's say i'm just selecting this file and here we go and the file is now open now once the file is open, I can see there are some graphical things which are present. I don't need to do anything, uh, you know, majorly uh, changes over here. So be very careful while changing this file. Now I need to focus my attention on cavity milling. So I will double click on cavity mill. And here I can see all the parameters. So I need to choose follow periphery. I need to keep it 50%. I need to make the depth of cut as 0.2. I need to make, uh, you know, pattern direction as automatic. I want my coolant to be on like uh, through coolant or a flat coolant every time whenever we create the cut okay then in geometry uh, if you want some settings to be done like the part side stock and everything you can define that over here in tool axis and gutter compensation you can define some settings in strategy let's say i want my trim behavior to always you know use this option called follow boundary in smoothening i want all passes smoothening every time Okay, so all those settings I'm performing here, which I want to make default. So here after performing those settings, I'll click OK and re-verify by checking whether my settings are done. So I'll go back to main and I'll just check and I'll click OK. Okay, so all my settings are done over here. So after doing this setting, what I need to do is I need to save this part. Okay, and obviously this is getting saved because it is present outside C drive. Okay, so I need to save this part. I need to close this part. So now this part is particularly saved. Now what I need to do is I need to copy this part to the same location. Okay, to this location. And when you paste it here, it will ask you to replace the destination file. And definitely I need to do this in this case. So I'll replace my destination file. I'll say continue. And now my part file has been replaced. Now let's see how NX cam works now. Okay, so I'll open this part again. Typically, you don't need to restart NX for this, but yeah, I'll just check whether we need to restart NX or not. Okay, now I'll go to File and I'll click on Manufacturing. Now, once I go to File and Manufacturing, again, I'll choose Mill Contour. Okay. Now, here, again, I'll define my workpiece. So, I'll specify my part. I'll specify my blank. I'll deactivate the Display Blank option again. And now I'll create my tool. 
let's say I want to use a similar tool this time again and here I want to define the tool diameter as 20 I'm defining the number of flute again as 4 and now if I try to create a program let's say cavity mill same settings ok let's see so now you can see I can see follow, follow periphery already over here this all settings whichever settings I have done you know in throughout the you know system I can clearly see those settings present over here so now I don't need to worry about anything I just need to simply click on generate I don't need to go with and fiddle around with the values I already have the values defined so this way the chances of error and the chances of you know you creating a mishap in your machine will reduce so for understanding what setting you have to do you need to have certain level of experience in using NXCAM or at least you might be guided in a proper way so that you know how to use NXCAM properly okay so thank you very much for watching I hope this video was helpful for you and if you have any doubts and queries please write it down in the comment section below okay thank you again thank you very much have a nice day